Hello everyone, this is Running on Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching and even listening in perhaps. This is Running on Empty Food Review. I am your host, the report of the week. Here we are. Welcome, everyone. We can see we have this giant box right here, this gigantic, one would believe, pizza box, right? You can see it really is like the size of my torso. So I would imagine one would reasonably, you know, assume we are trying out a pizza. Although, you know, I could like, I could, I could be messing with all of you and I could have, you know, like a uh, sandwich or something in here and I could just really be dramatically upping the production value. But indeed, we are having a, a pizza review today. And uh, this is one that I'm really excited about, to tell you the truth. And I know, now I know sometimes, like, I will just say this as a bit of a joke that, oh, you know, this is the biggest release of 2020 by far, that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pumped right, about this, etc. Uh, but this one is actually legitimately exciting. Reason being, this is a new pizza from Domino's. Now again, some people, they might be like, okay, so, you know, it's, what's, what's the big deal about that? You know, Domino's is a pizza chain. They, they have pizza, right? So what's the big deal about that? Here's the thing. If you've ever had Domino's regularly, uh, one thing that is pretty constant about them is their menu. It's not something that's really subject to change all that much. Not that that's a bad thing. Uh, I think Domino's is one of those places that they know what they have, uh, they know what people like, and they keep it there. You know, they are a place of stability, largely. Now, the sides is a different little, uh, different story. For instance, they changed up some of the wings recently. They'll have some different little types of sometimes breadsticks, variations, etc. Um, but the pizza is largely consistent. So with this being one of their new pizzas that they've released... Gosh, I think for the first time in years, this really is something that I'm excited about. As a matter of fact, Domino's has released two. You can see we have ten fingers, but two hands, so that's where we're getting two from. Two uh, new pizzas out. One of them is a cheeseburger pizza, and the other is a chicken taco pizza. And I guess the title kind of gives it away. Uh, I'm trying out the chicken taco one today, because I've actually... I've tried out some cheeseburger pizzas, not from Domino's, but other places have had them before. Uh, but I always like, for some reason, I always like a little bit of like a crossover between, you know, the Southwestern type cuisine and pizza. I don't know, it's just, there's something about it that always, always interests me. So this is their chicken taco pizza. Now, it's brand new, it was, re it was released yesterday, as a matter of fact. And I would have got it then, but I actually had to get a root canal done then so I just I had to give my mouth a break yesterday I couldn't just you know go after the procedure or anything and eat some pizza I had to give my mouth a, a day to rest but here we are today and uh, to tell you the truth a root canal procedure it gets a very bad reputation you know everyone's like oh, the, oh gosh the root canal you know it's gonna be dreadful but to tell you the truth it it was very very smooth it was a very smooth procedure didn't feel a thing and I mean look here I am the next day eating some pizza so it really I think it gets an unnecessarily bad uh, reputation. It used to be a really tough procedure, but it's gotten so much better as of late. Um, but back to pizza eating. Uh, the chicken taco pizza. This is one that has a lot on it. Um, here's what it comes with. American cheese, taco seasoning, grilled chicken, fresh onions, green peppers, diced tomatoes, along with provolone and cheddar cheese. Price for this in general is uh, around eleven ninety nine, so about $12. Uh, for a large pizza. So again, this has a lot on it. Because, you see, Domino's, they want to say, we're going to be here, and we're going to combine the best of both worlds, right? They are, they are adventurous. They're daredevils. This is like the equivalent of, you know, skydiving without a parachute, and having some other guy that has a parachute on, you jump out of the plane, and catch you midair, and then he'll deploy the parachute, and, and you'll both be safe. This is like the pizza equivalent of that, right? They're taking chicken tacos, pizza, putting them together, and, uh, you know, maybe that's, maybe that's how universes get created. Who's to say? Anyway, large pizza. You can see the, um, you know, the standard pizza box right here advertising their, uh, their rewards program. I got this delivered. You can see the proof of this. I got the pizza pedestal as well contactless delivery, you know, I can wear it as a hat if you want. I don't know what else you really do with it at this point, but I've got it. Got it as a souvenir for this pizza eating experience. All right, let's 
unravel this, see what we have. The chicken taco pizza. There I am with it. We'll get the thumbnail while we're at it. You know, something like that. Um, but you can see, there it is. Uh, this is a pizza that, like we said, has a lot on it. And uh, I think what would be better for the focus, the sake of that, is if I just go ahead and I grab a slice individually, hold it up. It does come with their tomato sauce, by the way. We'll go with... Uh, Actually, I, I don't know. This slice calls out to me a little more. So, let's go with that. You can see this has a lot. You can see some of the American cheese. You can see some of the chicken. Um, some of the green peppers as well. Diced tomatoes. Even some of the onion on it as well. Um, but this really is a pizza that has an awful lot to it. I guess it's their hand-tossed pizza. It's not thin and crispy, and it's not their... Um, Pan pizza either, so I think this is their hand-tossed derivative. And uh, now that we know what's on it, we're just going to try it out. I will say this already. One thing that I really do smell is the taco seasoning. Uh, I could really smell that. So this definitely, I don't know, just has that scent, you know, of like... I, I don't know if you've ever done this, but you know, get those little taco kits and make your own tacos at home sometimes, and you get the taco seasoning. I kind of, it smells like that, you know, that's what I smell right now. So it's going to be interesting, I bet. Chicken taco pizza from Domino's going in. I know, I'm always having problems with my teeth. This whole year has been, you know, it's been one thing after the next, but I was very, very thankful to get this uh, procedure done. It was, it was necessary, and it really worked out good. Chicken tacos, though, to tell you the truth, I got excited when I saw this pizza because one thing recently that I've been doing whenever I get um, Mexican food is I go with the chicken tacos. Now, I always used to just be like a beef taco type of guy, but... Mm. Lately, I've just been substituting it for the chicken tacos. I don't know. I just, I like them now. Yeah, I like the way it tastes. One more bite for the sake of time. I don't want to keep everyone waiting all day. Hmm. Yeah. I got to give it a thumbs up. I got to say, I like it. I'm a fan of it. I always like when these establishments have, you know, an interesting idea. Something that's, again... A little more adventurous. Uh, something that isn't just your generic pepperoni pizza or, you know, pizza with, uh, as some say, you know, da meats, right? And uh, it just has something different, like all these different toppings, this little bit of a, again, type of, uh, you know, southwestern cuisine to it. I, I just like it. I like it when they do that. But I like it when it's executed well. Uh, you can have a place that'll do whatever, a birthday cake pizza, you know, and say they're going to get pepperoni and... Um, you know, vanilla frosting on it at the same time. And see, I see how that works out for you. Um, but I like it when they have all these ingredients and it works out really well. Uh, this is good. I mean, I really like it. There's a good amount of the chicken. It's, it's you know, your grilled, um, your grilled chicken. But it's in those little, you know, it's kind of like it's, it's, you know, a little bit of cubes and slices. But it's good. When you bite into it, it's still juicy. It still tastes good. There's a lot of chicken. You get it in pretty much every bite. Um, so you definitely can taste that chicken there. Everything blends together well. You can really taste the American cheese. That is uh, definitely prominent there. Uh, and again, it works actually pretty well with the, with the chicken. The diced tomatoes that are on it, as well as a little bit, I think, of the tomato sauce, because I do see some tomato sauce on it, a tiny, tiny little bit. But again, most of the tomato flavor I'm getting is actually from uh, the diced tomatoes that's on it. 
And uh, that tastes pretty good, actually. It kind of spreads a little bit. That really does work out as the sauce, I would say. Uh, that works out well. Green peppers add a little bit of a crunch, but it's good. The onions, though, nice little potency to them. Everything just blends together well. And that taco seasoning, something about it just gives it this little bit... I don't necessarily want to say too much of, like, a, a spice, but it just gives it a little bit of a kick. What I'm trying to say just gives it a little bit of extra flavor to it. And I really like it. I always like it when they put a little bit of, like, a seasoning to the pizza, because that's what I always like to do. Um, when I make a pizza myself, I always put a little bit of garlic seasoning on it or something. Sometimes, you know, of course, the generic red pepper flakes, etc. But I always like it when they top it with a little bit of seasoning. It just kind of brings it to that, that next level. Um, but otherwise, again, all the cheeses, they just blend together good. The thing that I like about this, I guess that I'm trying to say, is that you can taste all the ingredients. And you can pinpoint them out individually, but likewise, they all blend together. Uh, just a really, for lack of a, a better word, is, is really a, uh, a spectacular combination. Uh, they just, it, it all works out well. And I would say that is a little bit of an accomplishment, because so often you have these, these places where one ingredient clashes with another. There's too much of this, too little of that. And sometimes it just takes one wrong move, you know, to mess everything up. But I think they really got this uh, nailed down pretty good. Again, good portion size. I like that there's tons of toppings. It's really loaded with them. And uh, overall, for $11.99, it's good. It's a good specialty pizza. And I'd recommend you try it out. Again, it's a little bit of that, you know, southwestern cuisine. It is like a chicken taco, but it's on a pizza. You know, it's, it's always different. But I could definitely see there is that, you know, like I've said for probably the 12th time, that, that southwestern flair to it, I must say. Mm-hmm. Crust is standard. Mm-hmm. Gotta say, I like it, though. Domino's did a good job. So much to work with here, but they did a good job. It blends together good, and it's just a tasty pizza, so... If you just want to switch it up a little bit, spice it up a little bit, change it up, and, uh, you know, just, just try it out if you want. I like it. I'm impressed with it. Something that I was a little unsure about. I was excited, but I wasn't sure how well it was going to fare. Um, but they did a really good job with it. So I like it. I'm a fan of it. And uh, therefore, out of 10, I really don't have many complaints about this pizza. And uh, normally, I wouldn't rate it so high. But I'd really, I'd give it a 9 out of 10, because I think they really did a good job in terms of execution, flavor, and uh, Domino's did a good job. So try it out if you want. Eleven ninety nine, the chicken taco pizza from Domino's. That's all that I have for you, everyone. Please be safe out there. Be healthy. Uh, for any viewers and listeners out there on the Gulf Coast of the United States, I know you've got this hurricane that's headed your way. Um, please be safe. Take this thing seriously. And until next time, take care, everyone. I'm your host, the Report of the Week.